Hi everybody, welcome back to the Tech Super channel. Today, in this video, we are going to look at how to convert a schedule integration to a REST API. So guys, before I go into a detail, I request everybody to subscribe to my channel and click on a bell icon to get regular updates. So let's get started and understand what it is and how to convert scheduled integration to our REST API. So as of date, you cannot change or delete the trigger adapter once it is configured in the integration. For example, you create an app-driven orchestration and you drop and configure the REST or SOAP adapter, whatever adapter you want. And later you realize, hey, instead of REST, it should be a SOAP. So as of date, you cannot delete or update that trigger point. So in, in this case, if you need to change or delete, you have to recreate the integration with all the actions which you have configured already in your integration. However, Oracle integration allows you to update the scheduled trigger point to a rest trigger with a minimal impact and without having the need to reconstruct various actions in the canvas so meaning if you have already created one schedule trigger meaning you have created a schedule integration wherein you have defined all the actions and this integration works later you realize instead of you know uh, having this schedule integration it should be a rest api so you want to convert this schedule to rest so oracle integration gives you a flexibility to change the schedule trigger point to the rest but the restriction is you can only change the schedule integration to rest not other adapter like SOAP, ERP, Salesforce no only you can update the scheduled trigger to the rest. Few restrictions to that as well like you cannot convert a schedule integration to rest adapt triggered integration with multi verbs for example you have a schedule integration and later you realize it should be rest you can do this but that rest you cannot have multiple verbs only single verb is allowed as of now you cannot convert a schedule integration with assignment that have the fault data type so these are the few restrictions when you are converting your schedule integration to a rest so you need to keep all these things in mind so now let's look at a demonstration how we can convert this into a rest. So here I have one integration already created. Convert CSV to JSON and you see this type of integration is scheduled. So you see we have a schedule integration. Let's try to convert that schedule integration into a rest. So what we can do, we simply click on the schedule trigger, click on this action menu and here we have an option called convert to rest trigger. Click on this. Once you click on this, it will show you the rest connections of trigger type. So let's say this is my connection, which I want to use to create a rest API. So simply select it and it will open the rest endpoint configuration wizard. Let's say convert to rest. And if you slide to select it and click on next, maybe once you cannot do this. Okay. This is the restriction. Let's find next. And let's say slash api let's say it's a get verb add and review parameter and you can configure the response for whatever configuration you wanted to put into this you can do this let's say name and then a string next and json in line you can put any sample json here and then okay next And then complete this and let's say convert now it says conversion in progress and you see the integration from scheduled to converted to app driven orchestration now you see this error what you need to do you need to simply enable this tracking parameter and save so that's it now your integration schedule integration has been converted into the rest api so that's all about this very simple steps to convert your schedule integration to this. Guys, I hope you like this video. If you like this, please like, comment, and share. And please don't forget 
to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon to get regular updates. You can follow me over LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, Pinterest. You can also see my blog, https colon slash slash www.taxsupper.com. Thanks for watching the video. Have a good day. Bye-bye.